Good morning to you. Welcome. Talking really here. And uh, we have to talk about apps. Apps on your phone. Because apps on your phone are uh, something that's a uh, phenomenon. 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 It's a thing that people expect you to get to be able to do stuff these, these days. <laughs> it's a form of control. And obviously people are up in arms about having to use apps and it also excludes some people who haven't got a phone haven't got a mobile phone uh, or they've got an old phone that they can't put an app on or basically they're just app not friendly and they don't really care for apps i mean some people don't use them some people do use them and uh, a lot of people the younger people are brainwashed into thinking that they are the um be all and end all. Well, if you're going to be attending the World Cup Qatar in Qatar, this is the FIFA uh, World Cup, uh, you will be required mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. Remember, mandatory requires your permission to take part in it. So if you don't agree with it, it's not mandatory. However, they uh, require you to have two apps. So if you don't have those two apps, you won't be attending. Obviously, you require a ticket, but you obviously will be. This is a, a warning being issued on the uh, the Qatari government. So if you are planning on attending the World Cup Qatar, if you don't have these apps, you won't get in. Now, what are the apps? Well, let's have a look. So here's the story. This is a. Uh, Mandatory app for the World Cup attendees. They're a security nightmare. Coming from experts, they're sending a warning about the mandatory apps issued by the Qatari government. So they've uh, issued this uh, mandatory apps thing for the World Cup and their data security and privacy nightmare. But of course, remember, according to the uh, World Economic Forum, you will own nothing, have no privacy, and you will love it. Loving it, loving it. So there you go. It's all part of that plan. If you have an app on your phone, you are being controlled. Remember, Google is spying on you. Remember, you can just have your phone on the desk, and you can be talking, and all of a sudden, Google's saying, hello, can I help you? Would you like to look for so-and-so? I... Uh, Many times I've been on uh, there on social media and uh, adverts have popped up and I'm thinking, God, I was just looking at that just now in my head. So how the hell did it know I wanted to look for that? Uh, but yes, that's another story. So this was criticised by security experts because it allows uh, remote access to users, pictures and videos as well as unprompted phone calls. The uh, COVID tracking app requires the location services to be on and gives the app the ability to read and write. So obviously you have no idea what it's going to be putting on your phone. Uh, this is the Hire app, which allows ticket holders to enter stadiums and use public transport for, for free. Also raises warnings from experts. Uh, here can be used to determine the exact location of the um, person, prevent it from going into sleep mode, and can view the phone's network connections. Obviously, this is a comment there, which uh, talking about I will never bring my mobile phone on a visit to Qatar. Because you never know what they're going to put on it or what they're going to do but with roughly one and a half million fans expected to visit during the world cup a potential leak of data could lead to a massive violation of privacy uh french state security authority warns fans about when they're going to uh qatar to use a burner phone in order to avoid the possible data and privacy violations. The mandatory apps 
might cause special care should be taken with photos, videos or digital works. Remember, if you've taken, if you've made a video or a comment on there, on social media, or you've said something nasty, don't forget, this is all part of the social credit uh, thing. So, you know, it's a forerunner to, you know, you'll have nothing and uh, be happy and also control. Uh, and uh, you may find yourself in trouble if you say something naughty that they don't like. So, beware. That's the story for World Cup attendees. The mandatory apps. Yes, right. Well, man, nothing's mandatory. Because you have to agree to it. If you agree to it, then your own, your own fault. So there you go. Uh, get back to me down below if you want to make a comment. And of course, I'll see you later. Have a good day.